Hello, my dear. My name is Irina Maximova, and I welcome you to the Hanofi Color Pigments channel. Today, we are going to talk about titanium dioxide, which means we are going to talk about the color white, which scares the pants of a lot of artists. But if you watch this video till the end, I'll tell you about the pros, and of course, I'll also tell you about the cons of this color. And we will also have a conversation about the palette of camouflage aureole pigments that I developed in collaboration with the Hanfi company. This video will be helpful not only for permanent makeup artists, but also for clients who will be watching it. In which applications do we actually use white pigment, which of course consists of a significant amount of titanium dioxide? It is utilized to camouflage dark circles that appear under the eyes. It is employed when the formed scar has a reddish or pinkish tint in order to conceal its visibility. And in certain instances, it can be utilized to conceal pigmented spots. It is important to remember that we are aware of all the six Fitzpatrick phototypes that we have. But when we come across camouflage, here there are subtypes between the first and second, between the second and third, and it's very important to understand that finding a pigment that is 100% identical to the skin is practically impossible. The skin has a small hair covering, the skin has pores, and the artist must take this into account when selecting the pigment. If you have finally made the decision to perform this procedure in your office, then you definitely need to inform your client about the advantages and disadvantages. The pros. This is what will get rid of those dark circles under your eyes you'll free him from the morning, everyday emotional camouflage with the help of foundation or powder. And the plus is that the client will just be happy for a certain period of time. The downsides, if you don't know how to do this procedure, you're not prepared. Or perhaps you simply omitted certain points during the discussion with the client as the procedure is sequential, similar to any camouflage technique. So you have probably witnessed a plethora of pictures on the internet. Our media channels frequently exhibit and are inundated with images and works that convey a predominantly negative tone or message, where the white pigment behaves absolutely unattractively, and the client is suffering, and the masters want to revoke his license, rip his hands off. Got it. Sure thing, that's how it goes. We always have both good and bad craftsmen. But let me tell you, if you utilize this pigment in a wise manner, you will not experience any negativity. Why are you seeing such works? What's all this happening because of? First, the technical component. The pigment is tightly packed. Secondly, he's buried deep. Thirdly, the situation is worrisome. The man likely wanted to accomplish everything in a single attempt, which is completely impossible to achieve in any way. Not only when it comes to concealing dark circles beneath the eyes, but in general, all forms of camouflage. I'll say it again, this is a step-by-step -step procedure. The client came with a request that he wants to remove all of this, he didn't like the initial result, and the master used some equipment. And as a result, we see either a dark grey pigment that appeared after laser removal, or a green pigment. What else naturally is more unfavorable? Essentially, the white pigment itself, specifically titanium dioxide does not undergo any change. It does not transform its color into an undesirable shade in any way. He has the ability to change color when heated, but only if a stabilizer like chromium oxide is added to him for stabilization purposes. Okay? The clients that I accept for the purpose of camouflaging the dark circles under their eyes are not the only clients who approach me. I solely concentrate on the aspect that cosmetology was unable to provide assistance with. From my perspective, it would be wrong for me to suggest that they change their lifestyle. I'm just trying to help. When external forces like cosmetic procedures, moisturizing the skin, good sleep didn't help. We're all different people and of course we all have different lifestyles, but if a person is suffering and nothing helps him, then why not help me, him? And here it's not always about wanting to make money, so why do I need another white pigment? A lot of people come in for scar correction and camouflage, scars that have formed on them many years ago, these scars, but they have remained red or pink in color. Here's where white pigment comes in handy for me. We all know Ethan's district, yeah, and we recall that across from red we have green. 
It is all well and good when we are dealing with eyebrows, but when it comes to camouflage, I would not cover red scars with green in this particular area. There is an additional service referred to as camouflage for pigmented spots. The service is a topic of debate, and I concur that in numerous instances, cosmetology offers superior assistance. But not everyone has such an opportunity, meaning not everyone has laser equipment, not everyone works in tandem with a cosmetologist. Plus, it also depends on the client's willingness. Well, he just doesn't want to, for example, walk. Maybe he has some health conditions that prevent him from doing laser procedures. And then you can make an attempt to camouflage the pigmentation that he has on his body. But here you've got to be careful. I suggest making tests. So, like, I recommend not only for the pros to do a little test on a small area, but I even recommend the clients to do a little test too. The reason why I am doing this is because the pigmented spot, regardless of its origin, whether it is pigmentation associated with aging or pigmentation caused by procedures, is not located in the area where we carry out our work. For example, like with permanent makeup procedures, for instance, in such cases. Occasionally, there may be adverse consequences, such as the possibility of the pigmented spot becoming darker. So in order to avoid condemning the client to deletion later on, let's perform a small test. And if everything is good and the base turned out well, you see the result that satisfies you and the client, then you can proceed with the procedure. So the camouflage line and the Oreo line. In a collaboration that I created with Hanofi, a company specializing in this field, why was she even created? And the fifth year has already begun. There are some delayed results. You can check it out on the video. What is the behavior of pigments after a certain period of time? In fact, this is extremely important. It's important for both the craftsman and the client to consider what they will get in the end, for example, in a year or two. To avoid ending up with grayish tones or overly yellow or orange tones, it is important to be careful. I formed this lineup using my extensive experience collaborating with various brands over the years. And in every brand, I sensed a lack of coolness, coldness of pigment, coldness of tone, I would recommend that you acquaint yourself with camouflage pigments and halo in this mini version for a better understanding. These are small sets that will fully meet all of your needs. You will quickly catch on to which ones will be more popular and preferred by you. Later, you'll purchase the full version. Each color has a detailed description of where and in which area it can be applied. I actually have a mix that I prefer. That is a camouflage at the fourth level and a halo at the third level. I use it very often. Sometimes there's a camouflage for an aura too. The most frequently asked questions from customers, what happens when you get a tan? Like I said before, the titanium dioxide itself doesn't change its color when heated. But the customer will have a choice here. What does he want after all? A hidden area that won't be immediately visible to the eye, or maybe he still wants to tan. Of course, we can't forbid him from getting a tan, but if it's on an exposed part of the body, you still need to recommend the client to use protective creams. There's nothing to worry about with camouflage, as long as the client listens to your recommendations. However, if he doesn't listen to your recommendations, the outcome can be extremely bad and have serious consequences. So titanium dioxide will burn, it won't have the same reverse effect as with our skin when we tan and then return to our original color. With camouflage, the story will be a little different. He can darken, he can turn into a dark brown color, and then we will have a zone of removal of the camouflage itself. Well, like I said earlier, using a chemical method that is a remover, what's going to happen to the camouflage over time? If the pigment is applied incorrectly, for example, by someone who does laser removal, they have probably seen such examples when eyebrows are removed, a frame remains around the eyebrows, as if the color in the middle of the eyebrows has disappeared and the frame remained. Or for example, somewhere some part got deleted and somewhere there was a kind of a hiccup, so to speak. This pigment is securely positioned. This indicates that the master during the process moved around this small frame. So he was scared to lose the sketch. I worked slowly, very diligently, without rushing. And regarding the shading surrounding, or more accurately, within the eyebrows, his natural range of motion was distinct. He worked more energetically. The pigment naturally vanished quickly. With camouflage, the story is similar. 
If you have been stomping around in one place, adding a lot of pigment to some zone or point, that is where it is going to stay. If you had a steady technical job, then the pigment will come out just as evenly without leaving a trace. My beloved ones, those masters who desire to participate in this procedure, or those who have received training but have not yet commenced this procedure because they are unaware of where to locate clients. Essentially, we possess a grapevine. You can bring a few friends. Surely someone must have an aesthetic flaw that you can find. Of course, you definitely need a portfolio because clients have to somehow find out about you. If you have any doctors among your clients, you can communicate with them in the same manner, inform them that you now offer this service so that you can disseminate the information. Of course, social media also help. This is really important. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, Hanfi Color Pigments. Drop a comment if you still have any questions. And in case you have any inquiries regarding pigments or if you would like to discover something novel about hand camouflage, make sure to leave your comments.